Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the poem Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. The fourth stanza reads, Now, we will count to twelve and we will all keep still. For once, on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Explanation The poet asks each one of us to count up to 12 and then be quiet. The poet might have used the phrase count to 12 as there are 12 hours represented on a clock or as there are 12 months in a year. He might have wanted the people to keep still as long as they could. He wants a moment of silence on the earth when no language is spoken. In this way, there will be no harsh words spoken. In this moment of silence, the poet doesn't want anyone to move their arms. He wants all of us to remain motionless. Stanza 2 it would be an exotic moment, without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Explanation The poet feels that such a moment of quietness would be very unusual and exciting. It will have miraculous consequences. There will be no hurry or the sound of machines to pollute the atmosphere. The atmosphere will be very fresh. We shall be able to breathe in fresh air. It will be a strange and unfamiliar moment with stillness all around. Everywhere there will be silence, calmness. In this unusual period, the bonds of humanity will get stronger. We shall be able to each other better. We shall be able to feel for each other. There will be human feelings. All will get united. Next, stanza 3. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales. And the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Explanation. In this moment of inactivity, the fishermen would not catch fish. Hence, the whales in the sea will be safe. They would not be hunted. This idea suggests the thought that human beings would not destroy nature. The man who gathered salt will be able to look after his wounded hands for which earlier he had no time. Thus both nature and humans will be able to recover their wounds. Both nature and humans will be healed. Next stanza. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. Explanation The poet points those who wage wars against humanity or environment. Wars of all kinds including the use of chemicals or poisonous gases, wars that bring death and destruction, wars that leave none to celebrate victory. He says that such men should stop their activities shed their clothes stained with the blood of humanity, put on new clothes and walk with their brothers, building brotherhood. The poet implies that the war-torn world should be replaced by one with an atmosphere of peace, brotherhood and harmony. The poet tries to make us understand that if we remain quiet, for a moment, at least for a moment, 
we would not wage any war we would think not of any ill things we would all remain quiet and peaceful the world will be healed tanza 5 what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death explanation the poet clarifies that thought he is advocating the need for silence his advice should not be confused with total inactivity or death he does not want any association with death he is not talking about death he says that life is meant to be lived we should live it stanza 6 if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death explanation the poet further advises that people should stop being self-centered and selfish for one moment they should not think of keeping their lives moving meeting their ends or fulfilling their duties that huge silence which will arise from such a moment will only serve to help the people it will help them to introspect and overcome their sadness of failing to understand themselves people have always threatened themselves with death by their activities this moment of silence will give them time to understand themselves better generally they don't get time to understand themselves so if one counts up to 12 and maintains silence he will be able to understand he will be able to find out his faults and rectify them thus his mind and soul will be healed next stanza perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go explanation the poet feels that the earth can enlighten us and guide us in this process of keeping quiet he wants us to observe that there is some activity under apparent stillness for example a seed appears to be dead but huge fruit bearing trees are born from such seeds lying dead here and there finally the poet thinks that he has said what he intended to now he wants us to keep quiet while he is counting to 12 after which he will leave thus he wants us to maintain silence for a while he wants us to keep quiet for a moment in this moment of quietness we will not do anything rather we will just have a glance at our deeds we will do introspection we will find out our faults we will think how we can make this earth a better place we should not get involved in any ill feelings discarding all these negativities we shall get united we shall develop a bonding of fraternity because we all are human beings whatever languages we speak whatever religion we belong we may belong to the most important thing above all these things is we all are humans so let us be united so this much for today thank you for watching e4 english gets easy if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe thank you see you again